wanted to throw up a video on the watch faces that come included with the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. I looked for this information before I bought the watch for myself, didn't really see a video like this, so I thought I would put up one for those people that had the same question of what faces come installed on the watch. Samsung always includes a couple new faces with each watch, some old standards, some new ones, so we'll take a quick look at those. I'll do this video in two parts. First, I'll just go through each of the watch faces kind of quickly, give you a general idea of what they look like, and then we'll go back and look at them a little bit more detailed and see what you can customize in each watch face. Going through them in order, this is one of the watch faces I had seen that may be interested in the watch. This watch face, and if you click on them, you long press, you'll see that this one is called the Classic Adventurer. And one of the things I like about this, it looks like just a normal watch face. You can see it has the sweep second hand here, and then the complication here is the steps. One of the downsides of this face is that the hands, which you can change, I'll show you, the hands can block some of the information. So the step count here, you can't see because it's blocked by that big hour hand. Next one is the Casual Minimalist. This one is a pretty basic face, hence the name Casual Minimalism. And you can see the hands here. This has a tick second hand. Uh, one complication over here you can pick, in which case this one is set for the battery. Not a whole lot on this face, just pretty minimalist, hence the name. Next we have Quad Hive. This face is kind of busy. It has sort of this hive pattern here, and then it has four complications you can set here. And one down here, again, with the hands on these analog faces, it can cover up some of the information. In this case, I believe it's the day of the week or the date that's under there. But this face is kind of busy. Not really any hour markers, except the ones that Samsung puts around the outside of the watch, which honestly, when you're wearing it, they're so small, you can't really even see them. Next one, digital dashboard. This is a neat face. This face has a lot of information. It has the time, you can set four complications around the edges here. In my case, I have steps for the day, battery charge, sunset and sunrise, which I don't think this is really that correct because it says 12.30 p.m. and nothing is happening at 12.30 p.m. tomorrow. It's certainly not sunrise and definitely not sunset. So I'm not sure about this. And over here, this happens to say snare man. You can set this for a couple different things, including monogram. And then right here, I have the weather complication. And if you tap on that, it will then open up the weather widget and you can scroll through that. So that's the digital dashboard. There's also the analog dashboard. And this is kind of similar. You get four complications. In this case, I have the weather, uh, emails and texts, and then steps over here, tick second hand. And again, as per normal, the hands can cover up some of the information on the face. Next, we have Weather Center. This one is kind of interesting. This gives the current weather. So right now it's 11.33 or so at night. At 11 p.m., the weather is 72 degrees and looks like partly cloudy outside. And then it will show that at 2 a.m. it's going to be 70 and partly cloudy. At 4 a.m. it's going to be 68 and cloudy and on around. If you then tap on this, it then gives you the weather for the rest of the week. Today is Tuesday. So here's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You can see tomorrow it's going to be cloudy, high of 86, low of 66, and then on around the week. To get back, just tap that. So it's kind of a live face. Shows the weather in the background here, nighttime, chance precipitation. Next we have Modern Minimalist. This is kind of just another classic sort of watch face. Not a lot to it. Battery charge around the outside here, 72 or 82%. Again, the hands can cover these things. Heart rate sensor out here. Tick second hand, not a lot going on with this watch face, just basic. This one is eccentric. This one is kind of a busy face. Over here we have the time, second hand here, sweep second hand, and then these two small sub dials, battery charge here and steps here. It doesn't give you a step number, just has whatever step you have it set to. I have it set to 6,000 a day as my goal and I made it to 100% of that. And then the date over here. This face is kind of busy for me, honestly. Next one, my style. This one is a little on the odd side. This is one of those where you get time down here and then all this stuff is going up here. You can customize this a little bit, but this face, uh, not really for me, but you can see it kind of does all this funky stuff. You can change it a little bit, stick around for the second part of the video and I will show you that. Next we have live wallpaper. 
This is another, well, hence live wallpaper. So you have the wallpaper going on in the background. Again, not a lot of information on this face, the time and the date. Uh, otherwise, just get some interesting stuff happening in the background, but not too much there. Next is Breathe. This one, you can see it has this background pattern going on here. I tried to time it when I had it on my wrist to see if I took deep breaths, if this would affect things, and it really did not seem to go with the breaths I was taking. But it does give some interesting background uh, animation there, and then the sweep second here and here. Next one, Basic Dashboard. This is one of my favorites. This one's been around for a while. I like this one because it is a digital face and it's well presented, it's pretty clear, has four different fields you can set here. The only thing I wish with this is that when it was one, two, three, a single digit hour, you could get rid of the leading zero, but you cannot, you're stuck with both digits of that hour hand. Next, Active Activity Sparkles. This is another live sort of face. You can see time and date here, not a lot of information. And in the background there, there are those active sparkles kind of just moving through there. Kind of a pretty face, not a ton of information though, just depending on what you're looking for. And next we have Analog Utility. Somewhat similar to some of the ones before. Analog dial with the second sweep second hand, three sub dials which you can change, and then the date over here. Again, just kind of a basic face with some decent information, which can again be covered up by the hands. Next is My Day. As it is at baseline, you can see there's not a lot here. In the second part, when I go to customize this, you'll see you can add some stuff around the outside here, I believe. But otherwise, right now we just have the battery charge percentage and the, the time and the date. My Photo. Again, small time here, and then I believe you can set the background photo to whatever else you like here. Pretty basic face. If you just want maybe your kid's picture, your wife's picture, whoever, you can put that back there. Large, this is the equivalent of the Jitterbug cell phone and watch dials. Big time here, big steps, big battery percentage. Just big and bold time, not a lot of extraneous information, but if you need a quick, easy time, there you have it on that face. And next is Roaming Clock. Local time and London time. I cannot figure out as of yet how to change this to say Rome Italy time. It must be in the, the app on the phone. You cannot seem to change it on the watch, but you can get two different time zones if you're traveling. You wanna know the time where you are and the time back home. And that's it. Otherwise then you can go into a shuffle. Second part of the video now, let's look at some of the customization you can do with each of the watch dials. To customize it, you long press on it, and then you will see the little customize button down here. Also, if you go back here, you can edit it on the phone, but let's first look at the classic adventure. Hit that customize button. The way you customize it, you can see up at the top here, there's three different things you can customize, and it's changed, you just swipe between them. So you can customize the hands, and you can see over here, this will slide down to show you the different options. Smaller hands, different hands, you can slide next, you can customize the color. Different colors here. And then you can customize the steps. As you can see just a couple different options for that. And then you hit OK, and you have your new watch face. Next, let's look at customizing the casual minimalist. So here you can customize the dial, the hands, the color, and the battery. The dial, not a lot of options. Again, it's kind of a minimalist watch face. You could have a big hour time here with the hands, but we'll go with this face. And the hands you can customize to a couple different options. And then the color, a couple different options as well. So let's go with the blue. And then you say, okay. And there's your new minimalist watch face. Next, we have Quad Hive. This one, all you can really customize are these four fields. So you can see you swipe between those four fields. That's it. And then within each of the four fields, there are starting at the top here. So you can have nothing, no complication, battery, month, weather, steps, heart rate, messages, and world clock. 
and you can customize all of those. Otherwise, it's pretty. that's really all you get on this Hive watch face. Next, the digital dashboard. This is a pretty useful one with lots of customization. So here you can customize the color. Each of the four segments here, that corner, that corner, that corner, and that corner, and then the complication on the bottom there. So just looking at this top one, this one there's more options. The last one had eight things you could change. This one has 15. For changing the colors, there are 15 different colors. The colors are similar to all of them again, so I won't go through all of them, but you can then change each of these quadrants. And here you get a bunch of options. The last space, you got eight options. On this one, there are 47 things that you can change. So you can have it blank, battery, day counter, monogram, which is how you get that snare man, weather, date and weather, feels like temperature, chance of rain, UV index, sunrise, sunset, daily activity, steps, workout, burn calories, sleep, heart rate, stress, breathing, food, water, caffeine, women's health, running, walking, cycling. So you can set different workouts here. You can just tap on and then it will open that workout. You can see there a bunch of different workouts, alarm, barometer, big speed, call history, emails and messages, music, reminders, schedule, stopwatch, timer, voice memo, and world clock. Next, we have the analog dashboard. Customizing that, you can customize the hands. A couple of different options there. Also the color though, 15 different colors. You can see that changes. And then each of the three subdials, 47, same 47 as we had on the last watch face. So I'm just gonna say okay to that. Weather center, this one you can see, you cannot customize that one at all. Skip that. Next, we have modern minimalist. Customize on that. You can customize the hands, the color, the heart rate, or well, just the complication, and the battery, the other complications. So the hands, again, kind of a couple minimalist hands. Next, there's the color of the dial. Not too many options, but a couple options there. The complication here, there are 37 of them. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but you can customize that. Say you have this set to, for instance, walking. You should then be able to click on that and it will open up the Samsung Fit and you can allow access to all that stuff. Next we have Eccentric. Not a lot to customize on this. You can customize just these two complications, that one and that one. And there are only six things that you can go between with them. Battery, month, weather, steps, heart rate, world clock. My style, this was that interesting face with all these things moving around. Customizing this, you can customize the background, the clock type, and then there are four things you can customize around the outside here. So do the first, the background. Looks like you, you can set your own picture, but that's what's in there now. I think in the app, you can maybe change that. Battery, day counter, weather, date and weather. So again, depending on what pictures in the background, these can be hard to see what you, all this information you have here. Live wallpaper. Customization on this one. Really, you can change the background, which I think is also in the app. And then you can change the clock type, digital or analog, just two types on that. Breathe. Customization, you can do the dial, the hands, and the color. The dial, there are four options. See little ticks, little time, and I don't know what that one does. Not a lot different. Let's throw that one on there. And then you can change the hands, only two options. We'll go with the thin one. And then you can change the color. Let's go with this sort of rainbowy color. So there is the new version of Breathe. Basic dashboard, again, I like this one a lot. On this one, you can customize the color. 12 different colors of the whole face, whatever your mood happens to be that day. Let's go yellow. And then you can customize each of these four sections, 33 different ones. This is probably my most used phase because it has such nice basic information, easy to read, lots of information, quick and easy to see. I like the way it displays the information. Activity sparkles. 
Again, you can customize the four areas. Actually, I think it's just three areas around the outside. I don't know why it's only three on this and four on the other one, maybe because the time is down here. There are again, the 47 things you can set. So we'll just set a couple. Apparently this face is always going to be green. Analog utility, customize the dial, the color, weather, or well, the four, four sub dials anyway. Dial, not too many options. There are two of them. We'll go with that one now. The color, there are three color options. We'll go with the yellow. There is also a red and a blue. But let's go yellow. And then 12 complications you can put, you pick your dial options, and then you can click on one of these, for instance, like this weather, and it will open up the weather widget. Next is my day. Customizing it, you can do the hands, and that's all you get. Next is my photos. You customize the picture, the clock type, which is going to be digital, different digital, and different digital. If you want the clock out of the way of your picture, and then the color of the clock. Let's make this one black so you can see it. Again, pretty minimal information, but the point of this one is to have a picture of well, whatever you want. And then the large, all you get to customize on this is the color, 24 colors. Let's make it periwinkle. And then you customize the top and bottom complications, only five options. Nothing, battery, date, steps, heart rate, and then same options on the bottom. Roaming, you can't set the place on this, but you can pick the color out of 12 options and that's all you get, at least from editing it on the watch. So there you go, the Galaxy Watch 3, all the watch faces that come included with it. You can obviously get a plethora, a veritable cornucopia of other watch faces from the watch face store, the, the Galaxy app. Plenty of other options, but those are the ones that come with it. If you had inquiring mind like I did before I bought the watch, then there you go. Now you know like I know. So take care. See you next time.